Should I switch reality? Hmm. Uh, I won't, just because I'm interested to see what happens next with her. I mean, I'm interested to see what next happens next with Alan Wake, but... Just after what just happened, I kind of want to keep playing with her now. There's a cult stash up there. Alright. Hopefully I don't have to do any math this time. Another one of those rhymes. Mother, may I go outside? May I run and play? I say to you, my daughter, dear, go outside and play. But only in the light of day, and only round the trees so grown, never near the lake, my child, and never and may you never drown. Anything else around here? Mother doll. I have a weird feeling something's changed. Oh yeah. What's changed? <laughs> I don't know. It's just a jump down. Another charm for my bracelet. Fuck. Fucker. Next to the other one. I didn't find the stash. Mm -hmm. Another ah. cult box. Cult of the tree sees everything. Is 
And it's at Bright Falls. Who's this note for exactly? Did the cult expect someone to break inside? There's your rhymes. Found a campsite woods near Bright Falls. Trying to protect against one danger, she exposes a child to another danger. Well, they're used to solve the rhyme puzzle. Uh, strange dolls. Holding the belly a bit on the nose for my taste. The child. Cute, I like the braids. Oh, there's still more. The story. They're both for later. The Anderson Brothers. Tori's about to tell me something. Is Tor okay? What happened to Tor? I heard yelling before the call was cut off. Alright. Alright. Now where? Cause there's painkillers up ahead. Could use some more painkillers. Speaking of which. Now this is where Alan Wake just came out of, right? Yako, we're going to a cool guy's house to drink some brewskis. Are you coming? No, Ilmo. I'm very busy wearing a turtleneck and drinking wine. Like an asshole. <laughs> oh dear, I know what Yako needs. I'm a beer to the rescue! Bring out your inner wolverine with Ama beer. Wow, this is the best party ever. Thanks, Ahma Beer. Ahma Beer is a traditional Finnish lager, and we drink it the Finnish way. At the bar, while actively avoiding small talk with strangers. Getting blackout drunk on a boat during midsummer, and trying not to drown. In the sauna, using your beer can to hide your pippeli from wandering eyes. Partaking in the Finnish tradition of Kalsarikannit, drinking at home alone in your underwear with no intentions of going out. It's not sad if it's intentional. Ahma Beer, your Finnish drinking adventure starts here. You say you can get a good look at Salem's. No, I mean, yes. I didn't get any kind of blood, actually. Uh, I wasn't exactly at my post when it all went down. I, um, I needed to answer nature's call and got old Terry from the back there to cover for me. I might have taken more time than I should have. It's usually so quiet around here at that time of day. I, I didn't think anything of it. Well, there's no longer any bodies anywhere. A place I can switch over. Oh. I'm supposed to go. Wait. The nursing home. Oh. Oh. It is like in the woods. So I went the wrong way. Whoops. I can't get through this. Oh, 
Oh, back the way I came. Like, made a mistake. <laughs> was in progress well you know when i heard all the shouting and things breaking and gunfire i uh, i stayed where i was what better place to hide than the john right oh, poor terry though I, he must be scarred for life i i haven't seen him since the attack i think he ran for it I, smart we'll look into it They all flew away into the skies, into the darkness. All this bro ha ha is not good for my old ticker, or the fishes for that matter. Scares them right off. Dead end. Really? Damn. Okay, I guess I have to go out the other door. the other door? This was just came from, is that? It was just on the other side. Oh. way. Maybe not. I thought this area wasn't flooded anymore or whatever. Oh no, that's the other place. It's watery. Alright.
nursing home. No. There we go. Oh no. Oh, fuck. Dead. Okay. I think that's all of them. I hope that's all of them. Oh. Got all pistol ammo? Well, I got a bunch of pistol ammo now. Switch realities here too, if I want. I don't yet. All right, there's probably more signs. Which is good. A hell of a nursing home. Odin claimed to be my family. I know Logan and I never lived here. But I don't know enough about my family history to say they're not my relatives. Mom only ever said my grandfather was bad news. The less I knew about him, the better. Vote Mayor Setter to sit in office. Hmm. Oh, don't have a map right here yet. What? So just shoot out the windows, right? I can't I can't bring my gun out. Okay. Saga had slid into a nightmare. A growing amount of evidence said her daughter was dead. Saga couldn't accept that. Wake said it could be undone. But Wake was gone, in the custody of the Federal Bureau of Control. Casey, her only ally, was gone too. She was alone. Agent Estevez had pulled rank on her, stonewalled her, shut her out of her own case. Saga refused to give up. She needed answers. Tor and Odin Anderson would have some. A family visit then. No one could blame her for that. Saga was trapped in a horror story. It was manifesting itself around her like the darkness of a mental illness, pushing her deeper and deeper. Hmm. It's a little late for visitors, you know. I was 
just getting the... Oh! Saga? What's up? Oh, well, you know. Hello, Rose. Thought I'd swing by, see the family. Not a bad time, is it? Oh, no. I was just, you know, tidying the, uh, the, um... I'm so glad you're visiting again, Saga. But Odin and Tor can't see anyone today. I was just on the phone with Tor. He invited me over. Sorry. They had a little too much fun on our trip to Watery and need to rest. I need an excuse to get in and talk to them. That's too bad. Okay if I say hi to the other residents before I go. Um... Sure. They always love visitors. Come on in. Not smart to be outside when the sun goes down. I love the architecture. I always dreamed of living in a haunted Victorian manor. <laughs> you say that like it's your first time here. <laughs> Here's some of our residents, or as I like to call them, our little Vikings. Look who swung by, everyone. Norman, clothes. Norman, we have a visitor. Where are your clothes? I'm, I'm headed back to the sauna with Artie. <sighs> Just another day in Valhalla. I should really get back to work, Saga. But feel free to spend some time with Mandy May and Norman here. It's good for them to have company. Tor and Odin are here somewhere. Need to find them. Do either of you know where I could find Tor and Odin? Odin is sleeping upstairs. But your grandpa's been acting crazy. He got electrocuted when he smashed the telephone. Don't make up stories. Tor went loopy and smacked himself in the head with that hammer he's always carrying around. Tor is hurt. Something's wrong with him. Was Tor hurt badly? He never let go of that hammer when he got electrocuted. It looked like a bolt of lightning hit him. Wham! Zap! <laughs> Thank goodness Blum took the hammer away from him. It's not Tor's hammer, no matter what he keeps saying. <laughs> Blum has his moments, even if he is a Russian. Andy May, you can't say stuff like that. That's some fascinating network, Mandy May. What's your inspiration? Oh, uh, I don't know. It is what it wants to be. Uh, taking a break from making those little ornaments for Rose. Do you knit? I dabbled when I was pregnant. Socks, mittens, the usual stuff. Oh, how about knitting me some underwear? One more crude remark from you, Norman, and I'll put this needle in your ear. All right, um... I don't know the rest of you can't have guests. Rose isn't being helpful, but they must be around here somewhere. Uh, Tor had some kind of accident on his sleep upstairs. Maybe Orton can tell me what happened to Tor. This is your home. You don't need to keep cleaning. I take that mop away, but I know you'll just find it again. Girl, girl, what a bunch after being told no. Why rest when you are poor to work? <laughs> hey, uh, and you know Mr. Blum doesn't like it when you take his work clothes. Why don't you go pick a song from the jukebox? Yes, box, holy ray. Just thinking about it makes my dance foot waggle. Oh, you lad, I know. <laughs> Oops. Can I talk to Adi? Hello there. Saga Anderson. Hey, Basin. Name won't make the man worse. <laughs> Even a Swedish name. I'm out. Anything good on that jukebox? We try to do good, but only prime comes out. 
Music from my Swedish brothers. Old gods of Asgard. My pals. Birkele Vikings. Birkele. Do you know where I could find the Andersons? Oh, you can never know where. Only a seaman can know that. But even the seaman can know everything. Fair enough. Thanks anyway. Were you in the band? Minak? No, no. Perkele, satana, en ollut Not so much sweet that it fills the whole stomach. But uh, we have shared a stage or two. Right. Oh. You said I'd been here before. When was the last time I visited? Let's see exactly what she thinks she remembers. Oh, it's been years. We were all so sad when you left. After the accident. Oh, fuck this. <laughs> My daughter didn't drown. You're remembering wrong. She's at home watching Night Springs with her father. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's useless. I need to stop the story. Mandy May and Norman said Tor is hurt. Why didn't you mention that earlier? Oh, you mean the little bump on his noggin? <sighs> it's nothing. The residents like to exaggerate. Uh-huh. I need to check Tor's room. Sorry, Saga. That area is for staff only. Hmm. Oh yeah, I wanted to find, uh, let me see if I could find, um, a box or something. I don't have any maps either. Need to find the key. <laughs> I keep forgetting I'm carrying the clicker now. I can't do anything with it. The government built a bunker here during World War II to watch the ocean for access and interrupt and who knows what else. Ever since they sealed the bunker, it's been a hot spot for teens. The Ocean View Motel and Spa, they call us. Ironically, I believe. They go there to enjoy their beer and their vapes and electronic cigarettes. Ridiculous. The future is... <clears throat> so, the teens would drink there. Do other stuff that isn't appropriate content for you listeners at home. But the bunker has a tendency to flood, especially during the winter. In the 90s, a, a group of teens went down there one Saturday night and got a little drunker than usual. The teens noticed one girl, Nora Hesberg, was missing. They figured she just went home. When Nora's folks didn't find her in her bed the next morning, they called the police. The authorities, they, they searched the bunker and, and found poor Nora floating in one of the flooded passages. She had a real talent for music. Uh, folks say they, they still hear her singing in the nursing home. Nowadays, t teens think the bunker is haunted. That doesn't stop them from going there. The police have tried to lock it up, but you know young people, they're persistent. Now, as for myself, an impartial journalist, I have lived here at the Valhalla Nursing Home for five years, and in that time, I have never heard Norris sing. 
just the humming of a certain neighbor of mine who has an inexplicable love for Finnish tango. <laughs> oh, Adi. <laughs> you talked to him yet? Hey, what's up, man? Don't you want to talk to me? I don't have the key. <laughs> Just shove a screwdriver in there. Damn. Oh. Oh. Clever. Um. You were a handsome deer. I didn't see that deer there. I just <laughs> accidentally. Can I just use that? No. <sighs> She's in the hospital or whatever. This is Tor's room. More moonshine. Was this a drunken rampage? Hmm. This place is a mess. And Tor's not here. I need to keep looking. Okay. Excuse me, miss, but you don't see me barging into your room while you're performing mental and physical strengthening exercises, do you? I thought not. Sorry. <laughs> don't mind me. And now I have to start over. It came out in bubbles. Rifle, I don't have a rifle. Wish I had a rifle and the next two rows of inventory space. Oh. Finally have the map. Okay, just keep going up now, I guess. Yeah, because Mandy Bay's downstairs. It's like there's no one in here. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> so creepy. That's Adi's room. Oh shit. Getting in is forbidden for your own safety. Time is long for those who wait. But in the end, stand the thanks. Sheesh, <laughs> didn't see you there. Mm -hmm. I can't talk to you again. You can open your door. This? Norman. Oh, the other guy downstairs. He needs to put pants on. Reels through the ages. Shabnam Dabiri. Over 200 teasers, tickles, and twisters. Note to self, hide the thing with a nice little riddle like this. Rather than an actual lock. Get to the Otter Side by Reese Watts. 250 Otter... This world puns to help your conversations go swimmingly. It's pretty terrible. Swimmingly. Gale. I need the key. Yeah, I do. Cynthia. Well, Audie's still there. Hmm. in bad shape. He was drunk and watery. Or is this something more serious? That woman in the painting looks like mom. Was I born here? Or is this more of the story? Tor's bedroom has been trashed. Tor's room was empty and the place looked trashed. Maybe Odin can tell me what happened. I found a lunch and many bay has been knit design. I've been finding by the lunch boxes. She's been making them for Rose. Hmm. Me and Mom and I with Odin Tor in Odin's bedroom. It's exactly like Mom, and that's me. Is this still part of the story? Wait. Is it just this? Yeah. Alright. Sea of night. To drink from the cup of the wise one for wisdom to be a seer, I gave up my eye and the light of the moon to shine and see the many worlds of madness and beyond across the dark dreaming sea the branching paths of the tree i gave up my eyes so many times we've lived and died and been reborn we have met here before and we will keep on meeting still where do i put the eye before time i gave it to mimir 
the drink from the well of wisdom the cauldron 1976 i took it out myself to see drank the moonshine 1988 who who stands the threshold took it from me the time will come again to be writ again odin can you hear me can you hear me odin <laughs> Odin Abison, can you hear me? I need to ask you a couple of questions. Odin? He's in no shape to talk. What just happened? Odin's in rough shape. What happened to him? These are our twilight years. There's darkness in the water. We have our little tricks. And so do you. What's happening? It's never felt this way before. You're all grown up, Saga, dearest. And you're back just in time. The forces of darkness are eating away at us. We're too old and weak. You have the power in you, like all Andersons. What was that? He wasn't a projection. Odin was really here. We were connected. Are they really my family? Is that why this is happening? Hmm. That was kind of cool. I found a photograph of you with the cultists. How are you involved? We're too old for this brand of crazy. But we'll drink with anyone who's offering. The cult's been on our asses to join for years. But we already have our band. And those damn fools don't know what they're dealing with. No wonder they want a pair of legends. Tor and Odin are not part of the cult. The cult thinks there's something special about Torn Odin. I'm starting to see it too. I've never connected to someone like this in my mind place before. How is this happening? I was glad to answer your call. Vikings are born travelers. You are a seer. You can see the truth. But your grandpa will want to tell you more himself. Wouldn't want to steal his thunder. Tor is in danger. You can save him. Is my mind place more than just a mental technique? Sometimes my mind place even baffles me. Is this the reason? Is there something more than intuition behind it? One thing at a time. Tor is in trouble. Once I help him, he can maybe tell me more. I found Wake's clicker. What can you tell me about it? Cut off from Tom's lamp. It washed to the shore. Good work getting the light switch. The light switch is like an amp. You can play rock and roll without it, but you won't blow anyone away. Art, like Tom's writing, can change the world, but the light switch will crank that change to 11. The clicker has the power to change the story. To save Logan. This confirms what Wake said. I can't let Scratch get his hands on the clicker. By Tom's writing, Odin must mean Wake. You said Tor is in danger. What's going on? Darkness is drawn to the spark. Tor only thinks with his hammer, never his head. The Prince of fucking Darkness is making a comeback. Tor is marked by darkness. I can feel it. Is he in his room? It wants to take him, and then take me. Beware of Cynthia Weaver. Bad things happen in the wellness center. Don't let her drag him under, Saga. Does Prince of Darkness refer to Scratch? Is Tor becoming taken? 
I need to find him before it's too late. Stop this before more people get hurt. Hmm. Call to the tree. The cult has been trying to recruit them for years, you know, and rejected all their offers. Fuck yeah, they did. <laughs> they would never do that. <laughs> Not cult members. I guess there's two more things I could have got in there. Find evidence. Uh, torn on rejected request to join the cult of the tree. Act which is fiction. No one spoke directly to me in the mind place. Actually, torn open. Okay. Felt different, clearer. That conversation. What does this mean? He called me a seer. Communication in the mind place. There's a brother who's for torn his room. He's in danger. Bad things happen in the wellness center. I already looked for him in his room. is not okay. Something is definitely going on here. Who's wrong with Tor? I told Odin to check it out at the wall center. Oh, I guess I found everything there. Right, thanks, Ryan. It's the power to change reality. Clicker magnifies that change. Huh. <laughs> Clicker needs to be used with Wake's right. Does it really have the power to fix this? Clicker is an amplifier. Alone, it is not very useful. The clicker makes Wake's writing change reality. Can I trust him with that much power? Not sure I have a choice. Hmm. Huh. Oh, just this one with, yeah. For later. Oh, now I gotta find my grandfather. Oh, can combine them, nice. Oh, they have one then. Uh, oh, there's more to find around here. I think. I thought there's something else. Point of interest. There's a container behind me, I guess. Oh, this thing. Huh. Val Owners Home was established in 2014 by the Old Gods Foundation, originally built in 1965 by an unknown architect for the Finnish filmmaker Thomas Zane. This manor is steeped in artistic history. Met Odin and Tor Anderson in 2012 in a strange uh, trip that resulted in strange new friendships. I was honored to manage their band as they made their comeback, touring the country and producing revolutionary new music. However, all good things will come to an end. Well, as a place of rest. In that spirit, I hope this building will serve as a place where people can spend their golden years in peace and comfort. May it be a home to those who need one. Welcome to Valhalla, Barry Wheeler. Oh, is that Barry's uh, cameo for this one? A little upset Barry's not in this, actually. <laughs> He's not in this yet. What um, are those kids' lunchboxes? Oh. You are strong, you are successful, you are confident. Huh. Oh, might as well put it on the case board. What are these affirmations? Huh, so this guy tells you how many there are. <laughs> There's that Alan Wake poster. 
in the first game. Wake up. Alan Wake's crime novels have become the sensation of the nation. <laughs> Join us as we flip through the pages of The Man Behind the Books. Folk Magazine. How has your life changed since the book became so popular? Alan Wake. I have uh, to do a lot more magazine interviews. Other than that, it's not so different. You are hilarious. I can see why you're a writer. So what do you do to get your creative juices flowing? Writing is a very solitary journey. When I'm working, I like to be alone in a room with my manuscript. There I can wrestle with the story, get inside the heads of my characters. Sounds exhausting. And yet you find plenty of energy to party, right? Word on the street is you've been out enjoying the New York nightlife. Any favorite spots? I'd prefer if we could focus on my writing. Definitely. Although I'm sure our readers would love to know where they can find New York's hottest writer on a Saturday night. Are you working on a new book? Yes, on some level, I'm always working on the next story. Right now, I'm looking into something different, a departure from what people would expect, something new. Be careful with that. People don't always like new. So what role does the beautiful Alice Wake play in your work? Is she your muse? Oh, excuse me, Stable. She's an anchor, stopping the waves from carrying me too far out to sea. Okay. Somebody here is Wake's number one fan. Huh. Rose? Alan Wake's Bad Boy Fiction, best-selling author, sets a feisty new tone for writers. Alan Wake's an author is an author best known for his Alex Casey books, a series of thrilling novels that reinvigorate the crime genre. Wake isn't just known for his literary works. He's also famous among New York's most ex exclusive clubs as a late-night party animal. The authors redefine what it means to be a writer. Gone all the days of isolated figures hunched over typewriters of dark rooms, Wake is a man who hits the town in style. Regular at the hottest spot in the city. Happy to see and be seen. The people and the paparazzi can't get enough of him. But it's not just his social calendar that makes the writer stand out from his peers. Artists are famous for their tempers. But Wake's in a, in a completely different orbit. Damaging property, giving photographers black eyes, avoiding lawsuits. This writer is a train full of rage and you better get off the tracks. Like a punk rocker, Wake is grabbing musty old stereotypes and smashing them to pieces. This is one rebel to keep an eye out for. Where is Alan Wake? Mysterious writer mysteriously disappears. The best-selling author known for his Alex Casey novels has been reported missing in the town of Bright Falls, Washington. Mr. Wake's wife, Alice Wake, has not given any comment on the case, but is confirmed to have been the one to report her husband's disappearance to the authorities. The mysteries surrounding the novelist's disappearance don't stop there. Other individuals from the town were reported missing with a similar t within a similar time frame. It is unclear whether these disappearances are connected. Wake's literary agent, Barry Wheeler, has indicated he has no information to provide, despite having been seen with Mr. Wake and Bright Falls just before the author's disappearance. The writer, Alan Wake, has a history of violence towards the press and is rumored to have struggled with addiction. The story will be updated as it unfolds. Be my light in the darkness, Rose. I was wondering if you could help me, longing internally. We'll serve you pancakes. You were my muse all along, Rose. Naughty Alan. Hmm. Is that it?